hello everyone uh, welcome back so uh, let's solve this problem minimum processing time from the weekly contest 366 and you can encounter this problem in daily challenge as well in the future so uh, i hope i hope you have tried this problem for at least 30 minutes uh, if you couldn't able to solve it then only you can come and watch or else you can go and you can solve yourself uh, if you do these things repeatedly then only you will gonna improve your problem solving abilities so let's understand the problem first let's understand the problem statement so here you have given n process each having four cores he is saying that you have n process and for every process you have four cores and n into four tasks thus need to be executed such that each core should perform only one task and he is saying that uh, he will give the processor time he will give processor times he will say number of processes and each process can perform four tasks now given a zero index integer array processor time this is a processor time representing the time at which each process became available for the first time is uh, it is 8 that means this process is available at time is equals to 8 and 8 uh, t is equals to 10 this is at 10th time it is available and a zero indexed array task represent the time it takes to execute each task is saying that at every position suppose at 8 my server is starting my processing is starting i can take any of the four tasks and i can process them parallelly parallelly this is the most important thing if it is uh, if it is uh, not parallelly then our answer will increase rapidly it is parallelly and return the minimum time when all of the task has been executed by the processor we need to return the minimum time such that all the tasks needs to be executed by the processor so definitely will give processor time and the task will be into four times if it is three then task will be 12 if it is four it will be my 16 so if you observe if you observe he's saying minimum he's saying minimum so one thing will came to come to your mind is my process time processor time the time should start at minimum should start at minimum and my task should be maximum it should take the maximum time task maximum time task then only i can say then only i can say that my uh, my time is getting minimized then only i can say that my time getting minimized if you see here 8 and 10 and if i sort this if i sort this all the task if uh, if you are taking processor time as 8 definitely you gonna take this 8 because for 10 if you take 8 my answer will be 18 this processor time is 10 and this time to execute the task is 8 so it will be 18 i should not i should not make it max i should make it minimum definitely 8 should take this 8 and 8 can take 7 8 can take 5 and 8 can take 4 to make it minimum to make it minimum i'm taking this for 10 it will take 3 2 2 and 1 2 and 1 so what will be my answer will be it will be 16 because 8 plus 8 16 in this process uh, which is taking maximum time 8 plus 8 16 for 10 how much maximum time 10 plus 3 it is 13 i need to return the value which is my maximum which is my maximum i think you understood it you can see the time complexity 10 power 5 10 power 9 and if it is 10 power 5 we should solve in order of n or order of n into log n but we the problem we can solve is in order of n only then you can see i am sorting it i am sorting the processor time and this is v is a tasks i am sorting the task and my tasks are starting at j is equals to n minus 1 and c is less than and i am iterating through all my processors processor time i am iterating all through my processor time c is less than 4 answer equals to answer comma t of i plus v of j this is what we are doing 8 plus 8 and 8 plus 7 8 plus 5 8 plus 4 in that we are taking the answer as answer equals to maximum of all this maximum of all this in the same way for 10 we are taking all the scenarios and we will calculating the maximum and in the final we are returning the maximum because we need the time um, minimum time to execute all the tasks that's why my maximum will be my minimum time 
and if you see this the time complexity would be order of one because we are not using any extra spaces over here and the space uh, space complex sorry space complexity would be order of one and coming to my time complexity it will be my order of n order of uh, size of tasks and i think you understood this solution so if you understood this please like and do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching